Fireman Sam. Elvis's Experiment. Firefighter Elvis Cridlington and Fireman Sam were on their way back to Ponty Pandy after a fire. Let's hope that's it for today, Fireman Sam, said Elvis as they drove into Ponty Pandy. Penny Morris is coming over from Newtown for supper, and I'm going to cook something extra special. <laughs> Your cooking's always extra special, or extraordinary, said Fireman Sam, laughing. What's it tonight, Elvis? Just you wait. When they hear about tonight, the Newtown Brigade will wish I was their cook, said Elvis. And so will the Ponty Pandy Brigade, laughed Fireman Sam as Jupiter drew up outside his house. Could you drop me here, please? I'd better change if we've got company tonight. I'll see you later. Hm, thought Elvis as he drove on towards the fire station. I'll make Fireman Sam eat his words, if he's got room, that is. I'm going to cook something that's really delicious and very healthy. But what? Then suddenly he had a brainwave. Got it! he shouted out loud. The perfect food! I'll show Fireman Sam just how good a cook I really am. Elvis parked Jupiter in the station and ran inside. There'll be plenty of time to tidy up later, he said to himself. But Elvis was so pleased with his idea that he completely forgot to refill Jupiter's water tank. First Elvis made a big salad, and then he started on his experiment. Nut cutlets, but with a difference. I bet Penny's never had deep fried nut cutlets before, he said, smiling as he poured the oil into the pan. She's going to be so impressed. Gosh, Elvis, these cutlets are really something, she'll say. You're the best cook in the valley, and Elvis blushed at the thought. In a daydream, Elvis chopped up the nuts and made twelve perfect cutlets. It took him ages. There now, there's just time to change before Penny arrives, he said, as he put them carefully into the fryer. Then suddenly he remembered that he had to clean Jupiter for Station Officer Steele's inspection. Oh my, he flapped, grabbing a bucket and cloth and dashing out of the kitchen. Who says you can't be a firefighter and a cook? Elvis said to himself as he set to work. But he was so busy polishing Jupiter that he completely forgot about his experiment. Penny's going to be able to see her face in Jupiter, he said, humming gleefully to himself. Elvis was woken from his daydream by the sound of a siren. That's funny, said Elvis, looking up. I wonder what's going on. The sound came closer and closer until it stopped right outside the fire station. Elvis looked out of the window and saw firefighter Penny Morris's rescue tender parked outside. Elvis scrambled out of Jupiter. Evening, Penny, he said. You must be hungry. You arrived in such a hurry, anyone would think you've come to put out a fire. Fireman Sam came running up. Gracious, gasped Elvis. Everyone's early tonight. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to wait a while for your supper, but it'll be worth it, believe me. Fireman Sam and Penny looked at each other, then back at Elvis. But we have come to put out a fire, Elvis, cried Penny. Really, Elvis, you're meant to be a firefighter and you don't even notice a fire when it's right here under your nose, said Fireman Sam. And then he added, surely even you must have noticed the smell of burning nuts. Burning nuts? murmured Elvis, going pale. I'd better get the hose. Quickly, Elvis pulled out the hose. Nothing happened. It must be blocked, shouted Fireman Sam. You did refill the tank, didn't you, Elvis? Oh, no, now I'm in trouble, groaned Elvis, going even paler. We don't want the hose anyway, said Penny. We need a fire extinguisher for this. And she took one out of the rescue tender. I always carry this in case of emergencies, she explained. Thank you, Firefighter Morris, said Fireman Sam, taking the extinguisher. He pulled on his mask and went into the kitchen. I wonder what caused the fire, don't you, Elvis? asked Penny. Um, stuttered Elvis, trembling. What's going on here? said Station Officer Steele, arriving at the fire station. This is only an experimental exercise, I presume. Sort of, you could say, 
replied Elvis, going bright red. Fire's out, not much damage done, said Fireman Sam, coming outside again. But I'm afraid whatever you were frying is ruined, Elvis. Frying? bellowed Station Officer Steel. But I thought I banned fried food on Firefighter Morris's advice. Too much fat isn't good for you, is it? But, stammered Elvis. That's right, sir. It's better not to eat too much fried food, agreed Penny. But I was cooking nut cutlets, deep fried, as an experiment. I thought they'd be tastier that way, explained Elvis, looking sorry for himself. However hard I try, something always goes wrong. Or someone always goes wrong, laughed Fireman Sam. Cheer up, Elvis. Let's go to Bella's cafe and have pasta instead. Yummy, said Elvis, smiling again. That sounds delicious, and even better I don't have to do the cooking. Making all those cutlets was driving me nuts.